Hello, my friends. This is Justin Jones. Thank you for tuning in. Brandon McRae is not joining me tonight because he is lame and boring and tired, and that's okay, though, uh, because what we're going to do tonight requires some intimacy. It can only be done between two people, and that, my friends, is learning how to tie a bow tie the actually easy way. So if you don't know how to tie a bow tie and you've tried to learn, here's what you've tried to do. You've gone to YouTube, you've watched people demonstrate tutorials and everything's going fine. You know, they have their bow tie and they're like tying it and you're tracking, everything looks pretty, blah, 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 blah. And then bam, they have a beautifully tied bow tie. And then you're like, mm, I don't know what you just did. So you watch it like seven more times, you spend an hour on it, your arms get tired, and then you give up. All right, so this is not gonna be one of those videos. This is gonna show you uh, the dirty work. Um, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks, which for some other reason, or for some reason other people don't in YouTube videos, which kinda sucks. Don't know why, I don't know why. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get very elementary. We're gonna get very um, foundational in what we're gonna do so it may sound silly how granular I get in the detail, but I wanna make sure that by the end of this video, you know how to tie a bow tie, all right? Now, we're doing this in one take because I can't do this over and over again. <laughs> so if I mess up, you will see it, but again, you will know how to tie a bow tie at the end, okay? And then you can pick up all the pretty girls and pretty boys you want, take them out on dates and marry them and all that fun stuff, okay? So what I have here is Black shirt, obviously, solid black shirt, collar pop because I am ready, and I have a Tommy Hilfiger bow tie. Now, I chose this crazy pattern um, in this black shirt because I wanted uh, to show you the contrast. I wanted you to be able to see everything I'm doing with the bow tie so you're not having to try to decipher anything. The camera I'm using right now isn't the best, all right? So, this is an adjustable Tommy Hilfiger bow tie. Now. All bow ties you should ever own, boys, girls, men, women, children, giraffes, whatever, need to be real bow ties. Non-pre-tied bow ties that are adjustable, okay? There are no pre-tied bow ties in this house, all right? So if you've never seen a real bow tie, this is what the back of it looks like. There, can you see it? So, I know you're having a hard time seeing that, sorry. So each of these numbers correspond with the inch size of your net. Next to each number is a hole. This, these holes are for this hook at the end. Bam, right there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna determine your neck size and place it in the corresponding hole next to the correct neck size, next to your correct neck size. And my friends, if you do not know your neck size, which a lot of men, women, children, giraffes don't, um, super simple. Go to CVS, go to uh, Walgreens, wherever you get cheap stuff, and buy a super cheap sewing kit. They're like five or six bucks, and they have a tailor's measuring tape. This is um, the flimsy, usually white tape that tailors use to measure your inseam and your waist and you can use it when you're going to the gym and you're gonna measure your biceps and keep track of your buff, beautiful progress and your neck size. So you're just gonna take that, put it around your neck, don't choke yourself, and that is your neck size, all right? So after you determine your neck size, I've just sized this to my neck size, which is 14 and three quarters inch. I'm gonna put it over your shoulders and I am now going to dip you down, scoot you down a little bit because I don't want you to see my pretty face. Just kidding. All right, um, so right now, the both ends of the bow tie are even, they're symmetrical, they're parallel, they're really pretty. And we're gonna mess that up because that's what's fun to do, all right? So we're gonna take one end of the bow tie, whichever you prefer, and we're gonna make it lower than the other end. Boop. Super easy. Uh, now, here's one thing that YouTube videos don't show you. When you're new at this, you wonder, well, how far should one go beneath the other? And you're gonna be tempted to stop right about there. Why? Because, look at this, it's a pretty little puzzle piece. It fits so beautifully together, doesn't it? Ah. 
Yeah, that's a lie. Don't do that. Pull it down just a little further than that, all right? Because asymmetry is just amazing, okay? So what we're going to do first, we're just going to take the long side, and we're going to cross it over the short side. We're going to do this at the bottleneck, all right? So look at this. Looks like a Coke bottle. Bam, you have your bottleneck. Same thing here. It's fat, skinny, fat, skinny, and right here is the juncture of the bottlenecks. We're going to take the longer side. We're going to put it through the loop that Cross has created. And then, like all the men in your life, we are going to throw that side off to the side. I know that you're a heartbreaker. Don't lie to me. Okay, with the other side, we are going to make a little bow tie shape. Super simple. So all I did was throw away my X, and then we took uh, the side, the short side that was left over, we folded it into the shape of a bow tie. Super, super simple, all right? So now we're gonna give some love and back to our X, which if you're like me, you end up doing inevitably. Um, and we're gonna drape it straight down the middle of the shape of the bow tie we just created. Bam, right there, okay? Got that? So uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bow tie shape and we're gonna um, pull it together. We're gonna close it, all right? What this does is in the back, it creates a little hole. This little hole is full of magic and mystery and deception and represents what for some people is the hardest part of the show. It's the hardest part for me anyway. Always has been. Always will be, maybe. Okay, so let me make sure you can see this. I'm working with the um, microphone and camera on my laptop, so it probably really sucks. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck it through, we're gonna tuck the dangly piece, what was the longer piece, through this hole, but do not go all the way with it. This is crucial. Do not go all the way with it. All we're doing essentially is folding it through. So we make a loop on the other side, all right? As you're doing this, sing yourself a song, blow yourself a kiss in the mirror, and think of pretty people and pretty things and wonder and magic and all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, so I am going to... I'm gonna stop in the middle for you guys. Let me do, okay. I wanted to stop and make sure it was super ugly for you guys. So, as you can see, what this has done is it's created a loop because we just folded it through, not all the way, all right? So in the back now, we have a loop. My lips are super chapped, sorry. Pay them no mind. We have a loop in the back, we have a loop in the front, we have an open end in the front and we have an open end in the back, all right? So what we're gonna do now, and again, this is something that no other YouTube video shows you for whatever reason because they're too good to show you or whatever. We're gonna stick our index finger through each of the holes. So our right index finger through the hole on the right, our left index finger through the hole on the left. Stick it all the way through. All the way through, all the way through. Um, you might run into, okay, like I'm doing right now, I just kind of did it right now, is as you're sticking your fingers all the way through, you might run into, hey, um, I can't because the loop doesn't go all the way through. Just like kind of shove it down there and it'll be okay. As long as we don't break any loops. Don't break any loops. Don't go, don't be taking anything out of, um, any side, don't be losing any sides. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna clasp the each of the um, open ends with our other fingers, okay? Clasp them. We're doing this in order for us to secure all ends of the bow tie, all right? Um, we do not want this bow tie to break free. We do not want this knot to go away. If any end at this point comes out of this knot, you will have to start over, and that is no fun. Okay, so we have this and it's all fun and games after that. Then we're gonna just start pulling it. Just start pulling it in all directions. You just start pulling it, pulling it, pulling it. Boop, boop, ba, boop, ba. 
pulling in all directions, just make it all kinds of crazy, fun, blah, 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 sing yourself a Christmas carol, think of happy thoughts, um, think about your hot dates you're going to get after you tie a bow tie and everything is going to be fun and fabulous and amazing and sexy and everything. And all of a sudden, my friends, you have a, what's shaping up to be anyway, a bow tie. Mine looks like crap <laughs> because I'm in this weird um, computer camera thing. Anyway, with that, you kind of get the gist. Um, <laughs> mine is so crooked. You kind of get the gist. That's a super easy way to tie a bow tie. If you didn't get it through this video, you're screwed. This was pretty easy. Sorry. I'm just kidding. I hope that this was really helpful for you guys. Next time we chat, Brandon should be with us and we'll talk about fashion and other fun and crazy things. And until then, get some rest. I know that this was intense. And it still looks like crap. <gasps> Throw on some sweatpants and drink some champagne and we'll see you guys later.